In the previous lesson, we looked at compound inequalities, but we looked at or, which some teachers also call disjunctions. Now we're looking at and, which are sometimes called conjunctions. Now, um, these ones look a little bit different. So in the previous lesson, okay, so in the previous lesson, the questions looked something like this. It would be like x minus 3 smaller than 1, and then they would say or, and then x plus 2 bigger than 5. Okay, that's what the previous lesson looked like. Now in this lesson, they'll ask it in two different ways. They would say something like x minus 4 uh, bigger than, for example, let's do that, and then they'll say and, and then they would do something else like that. The other way that they could ask an and question is when it goes like this, x minus 1 is smaller than 4, and then they sort of do all of it in 1. See there, uh, let's actually make that a minus 2, it doesn't really matter, we're not going to solve these ones. But you see they sort of do it all in 1. So these are the two different ways that we are going to see in this lesson, okay? Whereas in the previous lesson when it's an or, they only have one way to show that. All right, so when they link it all up like this into one thing, where you've got two inequality signs, that actually stands for and, okay? That's another way of doing and. So here we go. Remember what I just said. When you see two inequality signs like that, that is another way for them just to do and. And so how do we solve this? Well, let me show you. What you're going to do is you are going to try um, get the x in the middle over here. So you only want to have an x in the middle. So your goal is to get only x in the middle. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that this plus 4 needs to be taken away. But the question is, where do we take it? Well, what actually happens is you're going to take it there, so it goes across this inequality sign, but then you also take it there, so it goes across that inequality sign. So you're almost going to do two of them at the same time. So what that would look like then is you're going to have x in the middle, and that symbol, and that symbol. Now on the left you're going to have 5 minus 4, because remember when this plus 4 crosses over, it becomes a negative. And then on the other side, which is this side, you're going to have the 14 and then minus 4, because when this plus 4 crosses this one, it also becomes a negative. And so that is what we now have. And so now we can go and solve 5 minus 4, which is 1, and then 14 minus 4, which is 10. And so this is now the answer. So let me explain what this means. This says that, let's, okay, I want you to just look at this part. What does that say? Does that say x, please don't say 1 is smaller than x, always start with x. So is, does that mean that x is bigger than 1, or does that mean x is smaller than 1? Well, remember, this is the lion's mouth, and when the lion's mouth is facing the x, it means that the x is bigger. So we can say here that x is bigger than 1, then we say, and x is, now we look at this part. What does that part say? Well, that says that x is, now the lion's mouth is facing away from the x, so we say x is smaller or equal to 10. So what you do is you go to the 1 and you put an open circle. Why? Because that's an open circle for that one. And then you go to the 10 and you put a closed circle. Why? Because that's a closed circle, and then you're literally just going to connect them like that. And so what that means is that x is any number bigger than 1 and smaller than or equal to 10. So x can be, think about that, x can be any number bigger than 1 and smaller than 10. So that means x could be a number like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So x can be any number bigger than 1, but then also smaller than 10. So that would be somewhere over there. Okay. Ah, now sometimes they do the and question like this. So now what we do is we just go solve each one individually. Okay, so let's start with the first one. And so what you'll do is you'll just take this minus 6 over to the other side. So you'd end up with x there and then plus 6 like that. And so if you had to then solve, you'd end up with 2. So what does this say? It says that n is smaller than or equal to 2. 
So now check this out. This is gonna be very interesting. So I'm just gonna go draw this on the number line so long, but this is gonna be really weird. You'll see something now. So it says that n is smaller than or equal to two. Okay, so we know that that goes like that. Whoa, Kevin, where are we going? <laughs> Let's keep it like that. Okay, that's for now. It's gonna be weird. Check this out. Now we're gonna do the next one. So the next one is n plus four is bigger than or equal to, sorry, not bigger than or equal to, just bigger than minus three. So I'm gonna take this plus four over. So we're gonna end up with minus three minus four. So what this now says is that n is bigger than minus seven. So remember, n is bigger than minus seven. So what that would normally look like is you would go to minus seven with an open circle because that's, that doesn't have an equal to sign, and then you would draw it this way. Now, what we do is you look at the places where these two lines are overlapping, and that is where your answer is, okay? So you take this part away, and you take this part away. So this part here, you don't want that part, and you don't want that part over there. So I'm gonna try to erase that part, so you don't want that and you don't want this part of here. And so that is your final answer. And so then what we'll do is we'll just uh, try to simplify that into one. So you're gonna have, so you're gonna have from minus seven up to two, the two is a solid and the minus seven is a circle or an open circle. So what this will actually look like is the following. Okay, there we go. So we've got that and then you're just gonna go connect them like that. Okay, so that's the answer. Now we're gonna do a couple more examples just to practice this. All right, so here's the one where they don't use the word and, but they just sort of put it like that. Now this one's a little bit easier than the one where they use the word and. We will do another one with the word and after this. Okay, so what do we wanna do? We said our goal when they give it to us like this is to get um, the letter by itself in the middle, in the middle. Okay, so we can see that the letter is in the middle, but this random little four needs to be moved away. So you're going to have to take it to the right and to the left. But the question is, how are we going to times it, divide it, plus or minus? Well, remember, if you look at, if you look at these two, what are they currently doing? They're currently dividing. So the opposite of that is to multiply. So we're going to multiply the 4 to this side, and we're going to multiply the 4 to this side. So we're going to end up with the following. This will be 2 times 4, and then this side. See how I'm just keeping the signs exactly as they are? This side will be k is 1 times 4. And so that's going to be k is that, and k is that. Now I need to explain to you guys what this means. So what this means, okay, so I'm just writing it here just to get a bit more space. So it means that um, k, now let's start here. What does that mean? Well, it says k is smaller than or equal to eight. So we'll say k is um, smaller than or equal to eight. Then we say and, then we look at this part, k is bigger than or equal to four. So k is bigger or equal to four. Okay, so what we then do is we just go find the eight and the four, and we put solid circles for both of them. Why am I putting solid circles for both of them? Because they used solid, I mean, they used um, the equal to sign on both of them, and then you just draw a line connecting them like that. Here they're using the word and again. Okay, so when they do that, you just go do each one individually. So x plus nine is smaller than 14. Okay, so you just take the nine over to the other side. So it becomes a negative like that. So 14 minus nine is five. Okay, so remember what this said, x is smaller or equal to five. So let's go put that on the diagram. So we do a solid circle. Why? Because they're using the equal to sign as well. And then when they say x is smaller, then x would be numbers like four, three, two, zero, whatever, whatever, whatever. So we just go that way. Okay. Now we go do this one. 
Now be careful. In one of our previous lessons, I reminded you that when you divide with a negative, which we are right now, then this symbol has to switch. So that means x would become that way, and then 0 divided by anything is just 0, like that. So what does this say? x is bigger than 0. Well, why do I have to write it out like that? Let's just say bigger than 0. Okay, so then what would that look like? Well, if you had to go to 0, it would be here, and then it would go this way. So remember what we do now? We look at the parts where these two overlap, which is that part there, and we turn it into one answer. Okay, so look at this carefully, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it all into one answer. So at the zero, I'm going to try to do it, I'm going to do this here like this. So at the zero, I'm going to put an open circle. At the five, I'm going to put a closed circle, and I'm going to connect them. Okay, and then I'm going to erase all the other stuff. And so there is our answer. I'll try to do that a bit better. So at the zero, and at the five, but the five was equal to, and then we just connect them. You see, so what we did is we did this one, and then we did this one, and then we just see the part where they overlap. So here's another and one. So what you do is you just go do each one individually. So we can do minus 9 plus k is smaller than minus 16. Okay, so you just take this minus 9 over to the other side. So you'd end up with minus 16 plus 9. And so this would equal to, or smaller than, sorry, minus 7. So what this means, remember this part that I write at the bottom here in English, it's just so you understand, but you don't have to write this in the test. It means that k is smaller than minus 7. So you go to minus 7 with an open circle, because they're not using an equal to sign, and then you just go and draw a line, whoopsie, going that way, because they're saying smaller than, and smaller than goes to the left. Now we go do this one. So we just say k over 4 is bigger than minus 2. Now you've got to get the k by itself. So remember, what are they doing here? They are dividing. So what is the opposite of divide? Multiply. So we are going to multiply both sides by 4. And so you end up with k bigger than negative 8. And so that means k is bigger than minus 8. So then what happens is you go to the minus 8 with an open circle, because they're using, they didn't use a bigger than an equal to sign, and k is bigger, so that means to the right. There we go. Now you look for the part where there is an overlap. There it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw, I'm going to take both of these now and turn it into one. So that would be an open circle at the minus eight and a closed circle, I mean an open circle at the minus seven, and you would just connect those because we only want the part where they overlap, which is that part. And then I'm going to take that part away, take that part away, and that is actually the final answer. And here is our last question for this lesson. Now remember, how do we know if this is an or or an and question? Well, when it's an or question, remember, they, they'll always do something like um, that, and then they'll say or, whoopsie, I don't know what happened there. They'll say or, and then they'll show us another one like that. When it's an and question, there are two ways that they show that. Uh, so this is or. I'm just reminding you of what I said in the beginning of the lesson. When it's an and question, it, it will have two inequality signs like, um, like that. You see how there are two inequality signs? Okay, that's the one way that they can show and. The second way that they show and is that they'll do two individual ones, and then they'll say and. Uh, let's go like this, like that. So this is how they show and. Okay, so we can see here that we've got two inequality signs. So this is not an or kind of question. This is an and kind of question. So it's important that you watch the lesson before this where we spoke about or, and then you watch this one so you can just get a good idea of the difference between the two. Okay, so remember with these questions, your goal is to get the letter, get the letter by itself in the middle. Okay, so remember, we need to take this plus 5 then, and we need to take it away. So we're going to take it to both sides, to that side, and we're going to take it to that side.
So we're gonna end up with a V by itself in the middle, which is exactly what we want. And then we're gonna say six minus five, because when this plus five goes over, it becomes a negative. And then on this side, we're gonna also take it to that side. So it's gonna become a 12, and then we say minus five. So we end up with V, and then on that, that side we have a one, and on that side 12 minus five is seven. Now to understand what this means, just start here. And never start with the number, so don't say one is smaller than V, always start with the V. So it says V is bigger than one, okay? We're not looking at the seven right now, we're just looking at that part. It says that V is bigger than one, okay? Then we say and, now we look at this part. V is smaller, remember that says V is smaller, always make sure that you agree with me on that here. It says V is smaller than or equal to seven. So think about this. It says that V is a number that is bigger than one and it is smaller than or equal to seven. So it's a number that's bigger than one, but it's also smaller than seven. So it's a number like one, or not one, but like two, three, four, five, six, something like that. It's a number that's between minus one, sorry, between one and seven. So the way to show it is you put an open circle on the one because there's no equal to for that one. And then you put a closed circle on the seven because that's got a little equal sign there like that, and then you just connect them. And so V is all of these numbers between one and seven, because it says that V is a number that is bigger than one and smaller than seven, or, or smaller than and equal to seven. Okay, and so that's it for this lesson.